Okay, today we actually at a campground here in Ohio. We're gonna give you a review on the campground. Quick walkthrough, not too many sites, maybe 22 at the most. Yes. What town are we in? Steubenville. And in the Farnward State Forest here in Ohio, which is not too far from West Virginia. And Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania. Okay. So it's a nice campground, and since we do most of the reviews on campgrounds from a perspective of a motorcycle, check this yes. out. Look at it, look at it. You are riding on asphalt. Yes. Now there's some things uh, I can say today we don't like about the campground. I can't say in general, but we'll get to that at the end of the video about what we really don't like about it. Yeah. But yeah, we can see there's 22. As you're coming in, I don't remember what what highway we came off or how far it was. 22. We'll put the coordinates in the description section. But the greatest thing, absolute greatest thing about this campground, tell them, baby. Free, free. Free, free, free. Free, free, free. Free, 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 free. Free, free, now, free, free. Before we go on, if you, I don't know if the camera picking up in the background. There's a gun range that's really close, but you you can hear the guns, but it's not disturbing. Right. And I think that gun range closed at I forgot what time they said it closed, but it's a public gun range. You just come there and you put up your targets and you shoot. We don't know much about it, but if we find out anything about it, we will put it in the video. Exactly. But as you're coming through, we're going to show you some so. of the camp sites, not all of them, but we know there's 22. Most of them are occupied. Hmm? So I'd say most of them are occupied. So yes. we don't want to invade on anybody's privacy. So as you're coming in, you see this. Campers must use self-registration located at restroom. Parking on grass is prohibited. Hold tight, car coming. So follow the rules, people do not park on the grass. It is free. It's a nice campground. It's our first time here. Right. And as I stated, there's some things we don't like about it and we'll get Beautiful. to that when we get to it. So, I don't know why he slowed down. To read the sign. Beautiful British Columbia. Yeah, people coming in from Canada. So there's we see maybe four or five long spots for those of you who in RVs that can get a, a big rig in here, but they got a lot of overhangs. And look, this is how most of them look, so we're not going to go through all of them. This is number one. One. With a tent camper. Number two. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. yes, we do. A lot. A lot of it. Got asking us about our bike. I didn't hear you. I'm out. I'm from out. <laughs> <laughs> what generator you use? Um, Which one? Well, I do have a gas generator. A gas, a gas one? one. And I also have two Blue Eddies and a Delta. Okay. That's what we're looking at, Blue Eddie. Yeah, Blue Eddie. Well, well, they're the best, and I'll tell you why. You can explain. I just met this wonderful lady here. Wow. She's full timing. Well, we're going to get back into the campground review. This is what we love most about camping. Okay, Campers, before we go any further, She's at the campsite 22, and it does not have an asphalt pull through, so she has to pull alongside the roads for that. Oh, okay, that's probably the only one there. Yeah. So, cause look, there's 21, and there aren't too many big ones for right. you guys who have RVs. So, I don't know what the limit would be. I would say 24 foot, and then they're not, then they 20 aren't 20 that wide at all. So, watch this. I'm going to show this cake. See, that's kind of thin. It's not that much. Slim, wide. slim, slim. And as you yeah. go through the campground, you're going to see wastewater. They put these things. So if you got some wastewater, just put here. Obviously, we're not food in it. I'm going to show you when we get to our campsite, I'll show you ours because I don't want to invade nobody else's space. Right. But there's a lot of people here today. Uh, when we come in, we just want kind of worried that we wasn't going to get a spot because it is free and it's first come, first serve. Free, 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 free. <laughs> Even though you have to register. So what other thing they have here? Trash cans. Trash receptacles. I think yep. trash can, two trash cans by every, seem like between every two campsites. And as we go on, you know, we're on the main road. See, still asphalt. Well, there you go, to get a, uh, what I want to say, an idea if your rig would be able to fit in there. There's two campers right here. Yes, like that one's pretty big. Yeah. 
Bye. How you doing? All right. And how you doing? Biker over there. Now, if you in a tent, like this biker over here, everything is a full game here. You don't have to worry about nothing. You just got a nice asphalt and he got his bike over there and you just put your tent anywhere. Yeah. And it seemed like each campsite also had picnic tables, um, not designated fire rings, but people making their own fire ring. Right. And the picnic tables, the top seemed like all of them are concrete and the seated part is wood. Here's another one right here where nobody. And you can show them this wastewater. Okay, yes. So this is uh, for our veer, no overhang. And here's the wastewater. He signed. He signed said, ouch. Oh, what was that? His pole say wastewater on it. And it's just a little brick. Some rocks. Just pour your water in there, let it just drain out. That right. way it's not all over the place. And you just walk around and get to pick a litter. Now, Whoa. somebody shot a cannon. <laughs> I know they heard that on the camera. Sure did. And them dogs barking. It was so, so loud. We'll be coming up now to is the only restroom. And it's a small campground. It's just basically a loop. The loop goes around yeah. the restroom and everything. And there's a center spot where a community fire, fire, if anybody wanna have a community bonfire. But let me show you the restroom. This is one of the things we really, really don't like. But before we get to the restroom, here you are. Information. Not too much. There's maps for the state forest itself to read up and on all this. And they tell you the different type of trees that's here and what grows on them, acorns. And they even have, if anything in it, oh yeah, I actually have something in it. I'm surprised, I don't wanna waste it. A hand sanitizer, men and women. Oh, we forgot to tell the name of the campground. <laughs> Hidden Hollow Campground. Now, is where you do your registration, self-registration. There's a pin in there. And you just fill it out, leave it at your campsite, just in case anybody come around questioning. And a couple of rules, like any of the free campsites that we've been to, most of them, especially out west, you only stay 14 days. No more than 10 people at any one campsite. 14 days in a 30 day period. So I'm assuming you leave for a month, you come back another 14 days. That's what you're saying, any 30 day period. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna go in the restroom. Yeah, I'll go in there right quick. Yeah, I went in ours. But this is one thing we don't like about it. It is a, not a flushable thing. And it is from standards what we've seen in other restrooms, not well kept, no flushing water. There is a vaulted toilet on that side, which I'm not gonna show. But you would think, well, it's free. What else you can expect? You expect all this stuff from a free stand? <laughs> yeah, we've been in many free campgrounds and way better than that. Let's go so, over here. Where are we going? Over here. To where there's a community fire ring where everybody could come and have some s'mores. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there's a fire ring over here. There's a, here's a huge firing. One piece of fire log in here with three benches and some gravel rocks. Okay, but from this point, enjoy. when I was saying that it's a big loop, we came from that direction. There's the restroom, the main road down here. Right. Well, we are standing in the center of the circle right here. So we can well. see all the tents camping the campsites from this circle by the main community firing. Yes, um, I would say 90% of the people who are here camping are in tents. So we only seen two RVs, right? Well, two pull behind trailers. And which kind of leaders are another thing we do not like. We'll talk about that when we get to our section. So going back over here, get back on the main road. Oh, it's just, I was just telling you that it is the tree, 
This tree is planted in honor of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources 75th anniversary in 2024. The Division of Forestry, one of the oldest formal forestry programs in the nation, works to protect sustainability, manage, and expand Ohio's forest land. Jefferson County. And here's another one. There are actually several of them going around, so several years it's going to have some tall trees here. And I don't know the name of the trees. Okay, we're back on the main road. Here's site number eight, which I actually like, Kate. Hmm? Site number eight, what I, which I actually like. Yeah, I like site eight, too. And you can see, you know, you on a motorcycle, park your motorcycle up here, put your tent down there. Like I was talking about, fire rings are self-made. They don't have any metal ones like the other rings we have, see? Self-made fire ring. And here's the table I was talking about. Concrete table, wooden bench area. But, like I said, there's some things that we really don't like about it. And that just, I would say today. I'm assuming if we would have came here a different day, things could have been different. But there are the trash cans again. A lot of trash cans throughout it. And then we're gonna go around this circle. And everything kind of the same. So there's no use continuing going through the whole campground. So right. once you get a good spot, right. how you doing? All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got the dogs barking. But all the spots kind of the same. And there's a bench, I'm assuming, over there under the tree for day use. But I only seen one. Okay, two. That's another one on the other side for day okay, use. Okay, yeah. And now we're coming up to ours, which is number 12. And overall, let me ask you this, Kate. If we was in this area again, which I don't see a reason we probably would be here, but we was in this area again, would you come back to this campground? Yes, I would. Give me one reason. Free, 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 free. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not bad. It's not bad at when we all. Get, when we get campgrounds like this, we choose to keep patches on the asphalt. And today look like it's going to rain. So instead of putting our whole entire setup, I'm going to show you what we do. And we put our tarp over patches so if it rains, and if it's dry in the morning, only thing that's wet is the tarp. And we can actually fold patches up dry without having to worry about folding it up wet. Right. So here we go. Jet Blue and Big East, we keeping bubbles hooked to Jet Blue. Have all our camping gear all ready to cook. Yeah. And that's how we do our tarp. Instead of setting the whole setup, we got it over patches so if it rains the sides will get wet and, and we can actually get that dry easily or we could put our party room up on the side it wouldn't won't get wet at all and if you need supplies there's a walmart there's a walmart about 23 to 25 miles away from our location there are some other stores in between but walmart is the largest one so there's no need to panic walmart is close where in Ohio, in West Virginia. Yeah, I'm sorry. The closest one is West Virginia. Yeah, the closest one is West Virginia. So 23 miles, 25 miles from West Virginia. And you're at a Walmart. So now for a park that we don't like, I can say this for sure. Both Kick and I agree the same. When we came in here, even though it was a 14 day stay limit, it looked like people actually living here. Yeah. And it's kind of weird because I saw that on one of the reviews when we actually found a campground. But everybody been friendly as we be passing through. But at some spots, it looked like there's been living here like a homeless encampment. But hey, it's free. And if rangers don't come check in 14 days, then I will stay here longer also if I had no place to go. But anyway, that's all we have for now. So we're gonna wrap this thing up. And you got anything, baby, before I can wrap it up? No, I believe that will be it. Wrap it up. We got to get us something to eat. So yeah. if you're out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. 
I'm Boost and G's Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace. Go camping. Free, 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 free. <laughs>